I've been monitoring the radio. This human wither says the president will appear before his subjects today. This president must be more integral to their social order than I suspected. I have noticed a significant increase in activity in front of the White House. Right on. Just tell me where he is and what he looks like. Aliens! I... Uh, uh, the mothership's tracking system is broken. I think he uses those convoys of long black vehicles for trend. Yes, uh -huh. I, I can't exactly pinpoint the president from orbit, Crypto. It's not like he walks around with a big red arrow over his head. I need you to follow those vehicles so we can identify him. Oh my god. Is my fly down? Don't look. Don't look. We need it. Don't come any closer, space. Scanning. Oh, look. Their vehicles use hydrocarbon combustion. How great. Crypto, try not to breathe. Car. I'm losing the scanner signal. I bet that's not even him. It's probably a stunt double or a or a robot doppelganger. Hmm. Passengers and components are both made of carbon compounds. They must have gotten the soylent green leather interior. Pricey option. This is what? The end of the road. You must get right no such to the are. president's car. I'm losing the scanner signal. Electronics are masking all human neuroelectrical signals. Well, so much for biorhythms. We still got the horoscope, though. You must get closer to the president's car. I'm using the scanner signal. Hurry, Crypto. Get closer. The scanner's out of range. Maybe I'd better go back to the two months. Yeah, hear that? I've got news for you. I'm no space time. Destroy them all! has just made another broadcast. He says the president will be appearing before his subjects in a short time. Clearly he is a wily adversary, much more so than Armquist. And so you are the searing brain and mercilessly into a trillion teeny weeny bits. Roger that, big cover. Excellent! Crypto, run! 
dudes in dark. What an excuse! I think they're planning to destroy it this time. I'm no expert in using explosives, but it looks to me like they're laying enough to breach the power system. That could vaporize the entire city. Ah, the terror seems to be restored. Now that their president is dead, the human senators are voting for a new leader. The vote is agonizingly close. Doesn't the vice president become president? Just shut up and kill those senators before they get inside the Capitol! Uh, hello? Well, I'd do anything do? to get Johnny's attention. You anything! Thank you very here, much. You alien space uh -huh. Let none pass you! Eliminate them! What was that? Watch out! I detect military units nearby. With my, uh, military unit... Detect no drone! No! Just take my word for it! Okay. 
the good news. Yeah. This time they're more heavily armed. Oh, goody. Hold them back, Crypto! The vote is almost over! have mass-produced a weapon that threatens our main invasion force! These Tesla coils are cheap, shoddy versions of the ones you met in Area 42. And you, my impulsive friend, are to destroy every Tesla coil unit in town. Extraterrestrial invader confirmed. 
of all human power, and they're turning over the keys to the whole planet! Our victory is complete! No more blowing stuff up? Oh, no. the Furon Emperor will be most pleased! Oh, that's some imagination I have. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's hard to believe. Uh-huh. Thank you very much. Silhouette will be meeting you there himself. Try not to gloat too much when you accept his surrender. Be sure. It's the least we can do. World domination awaits! Silhouette, I presume. You don't look like a general. You don't look like a little green man. Thank you. So, waving the white flag, huh? All the monkeys got together, scratched their heads, accepted the inevitable. That sense of humor. Just like your... Like my what? Uh, file. Your dossier, Crypto. Said you were quite the Joker. I think I never told you my name. No, I suppose I have your brother to thank for that. Chick? I'm a patriot. If you had to put up with politicians playing grab us all day long, you'd wear a mask too. Me, I get my kicks the old-fashioned way. Beating up bad monkeys. Funny, that's just what Crypto136 said. Of course, he was a real cut-up too. Well, so much for Plan A. What's that? That, my gender-deprived friend, is Plan B. The end of your insidious invasion. A champion even you can't defeat. The greatest political mind of the 20th century. The greatest weapon ever built by man. Behold! The robo -prez. If elected, I promise to destroy all Furons! That is serious. 
seriously messed up. Robo Prez, dirty tricks mode. Oh man, now I'm gonna get my suit dirty. This is not a drill. There is an enemy on the loose. Find it and kill it. Repeat, find it and kill it.
I love the smell of presidential brains in the morning. Just remember who set that giant potus of destruction upon you. Right. You know who I mean. Oh, that silhouette guy, right? Uh, or chick. Could you do me a favor and not creep me out? Sure. In any case, he, I mean she, ran from the capital. I lost sight of him. Her. Silhouette. Near the... Attention, Furons. Attention, Furons. Is this thing on? Oh, whatever. I know you little gray freaks can hear this. I'm sure you're out there listening, gloating. Pretty much, yeah. It seems only fair. Credit where credit is due. You did it. You beat my beautiful robo -prez. And now you're probably sitting around fantasizing about destroying all the humans. Typical. Sure you handled the boys, Armquist Hoffman. Oh, that was a challenge. <laughs> but everybody knows which sex is dominant on this planet. There's still plenty of time to get your asses handed to you. That is, if you're not too scared to fight a girl. No, no, I'm not hung up on the whole pudenda thing. So come on, Crypto. Let's dance. I'll even let you lead. I'm at the Octagon. Don't keep me waiting.
beat me. I can't believe you actually beat me. They never do. You know, you don't look so hot. Majestic. We'll never give up the struggle to resist you, alien freaks. Struggle's over, babe. Huron's won. Human Zipperoni. You think you won? You think America is the only human civilization on Earth? That's what all the Americans seem to think. These ones I scan. Small little insect. There are three billion people on this planet. And everywhere there are humans. There is Majestic. Sorry, doll face. Without you, Majestic's just a bunch of dudes in crappy black suits. Majestic. MJ. Twelve. The Twelve. All over. All over. Attention, humans. I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Huron. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. Resist this. Good evening, my fellow Americans. In recent days, rumors have run rampant of flying saucers, alien invaders from other worlds, indeed, of my own demise. The truth is, America has been attacked, not by little green men, but red. And our invaders are most definitely of this Earth. Despite the efforts of this administration, our nation has been infiltrated by communists. Their conspiracy, details of which are only now coming to light, included drugging our water supplies and controlling our media via mind control. But your military and intelligence agencies fought back, and I'm proud to report that once again, America has emerged victorious. However, the price is dear. At this moment, Millions of Americans are working hard and playing by the rules, unaware of the lingering toxic pollutants in their minds. To combat this lingering menace, we have set up testing centers across the nation, at shopping malls, local schools, even churches. The test is simple and painless. Why, our family had it just this morning, and I'm back at work. Doris is in the kitchen baking brownies, and little Billy's out playing tag in the rose garden right now. It's completely safe. So, trust your government. Trust your president. Good night, and God bless America. Step inside, citizen. You sure this thing is safe? Step inside, citizen! Jeez Louise, I don't know. Hey, buddy, you heard the president. If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Well, I guess a test couldn't hurt. in a barrel. And so, the world breathes a sigh of relief. The threat of alien invasion proved a false alarm. As for those who scan the skies for a real visit from outer space, they may be in for a very long wait.
Perhaps the lesson is that we should turn our gaze inward, remembering that man's worst enemy is often himself.